This is the new DJI OM4 and although it looks like a gimbal, it is so, so much more than that. From super accurate active tracking to spin shots, nifty gesture controls and story modes, I'm going to show you what makes this gimbal so special. So let's get into it. Starting off with what you get in the box, and of course you get your beautiful gimbal, but it also comes with a whole bunch of extra accessories and tools to take your gimbal game to that next level. And of course I will show you what they all do, but first up you get the charging cable and it's USB-C, I am so chuffed about that. Then you get this little nifty tripod that folds out like so. Next you get this magnetic mount, which is the biggest upgrade when it comes to this gimbal, because you just pop this little magnet goodie on your phone and attach it to your gimbal in seconds. Then this little riser pad if you have quite a thin phone, a slightly different magnetic ring mount, then the super nifty alignment guide that makes sure everything is in place, as well as this little branded satchel or drawstring bag, an adjustable lanyard that you can attach to your gimbal for extra safety, these additional sticky pads, your quick starter guides in different languages, and of course finally your beautiful compact DJI OM4 gimbal ready to go, all packaged in this simplistic box. Now, as mentioned, these magnetic mounts are by far the biggest upgrade when it comes to the DJI phone gimbals. So if you decide to permanently attach the magnetic ring mount to your phone, just make sure you grab this alignment guide and pull off the sticky bit, then attach it to your phone based on the guidelines, and don't stress, it's super easy to take off. Then grab your magnetic ring mount, place it within the guidelines on your phone and push down to make sure it is extra secure and then you can just remove the alignment guide and you are good to go. This is the most permanent option and perfect if you love to use your gimbal all the time, but if you want something a little less permanent, then you can just go for this little magnetic bracket which you pull open to attach to your phone, let it slowly close and fit snug on your phone and that is literally it. And there is no difference between both these mounts other than the fact that one is more permanent and the other one not so much. So now this is where the magic happens because attaching your phone to the gimbal is so simple it just snaps on like that and let me tell you these magnets are super strong, your phone is definitely not going anywhere. So compared to the previous DJI gimbal as you can see it is so much quicker and easier to attach. Now let's get into some of the functions that make this gimbal so damn nifty. If you press this M button once, it'll toggle between video mode to photo mode and obviously vice versa. Then if you press the M button twice, it'll go from portrait mode into landscape mode. And of course, if you want to go back, just double tap. Then if you press the shutter button, it'll of course take a picture or start recording a video. But did you know if you click and hold down on the shutter button, it'll take a bunch of burst shots. Then at the back of the gimbal right over here, this trigger button is packed with a bunch of cool functions too. So sometimes when filming, you might just want your gimbal to stay put as you film. Well, to do that, all you do is hold in the trigger button and as you can see, your phone stays locked facing forward without swiveling or any other movement until you release your finger from that trigger button. Then if you want to toggle between the back or front camera, just click that trigger button three times and as you can see, the camera quickly changes over. Then let's say for example, you want to get a low shot. Well, what happens is when you go to get that low shot, as you can see, your phone camera faces to the ground. But there is actually something called low mode. And what you do is you just click and hold down on the trigger button and then when you go to get that low shot, as you can see, your phone camera doesn't face the ground, it faces forward. Finally, if you've been filming like crazy and you want to recenter your phone, all you do is double tap the trigger button and the bam, it recenters your phone. Then on to modes and this is where you're going to have the most fun with your gimbal and your content is going to shine. First up, make sure you have the DJI Mimo app installed on your phone just by heading into the app store and installing it on your phone. What's nice is it's available on iOS devices of course as well as Android devices. So if you head on over to the Play Store, type in DJI Mimo, front and center right over there, you will see it. Just make sure you install it on your device. And again, I love that DJI is both compatible with iPhone and Android phones. So now that we're ready to start shooting, let me show you the epic modes that you get. First up is gestures and if you toggle on this button right over here, what happens is when you hold this peace sign up, your camera automatically starts a countdown to take a picture. You can also hold up your palm and it'll do the exact same thing and both these gestures apply to video too. So if you hold up a peace sign or your palm, it'll start recording the video and active track you at the same time and if you want to stop it at any time, just hold up a peace sign or palm 
and it'll stop recording. Then Active Track got a serious update and is so much more precise. To Active Track a person, just draw a box over their face and straight away it'll instantly start tracking them. And check out just how quick and precise this Active Track is. I'm not gonna lie, it seriously blows my mind and it is just as accurate when tracking objects. To do that, of course, you also just draw a box over any object and it'll track it perfectly every single time. This mode is especially useful when you don't have a cameraman and you're just trying to film yourself. Hop on Active Track and watch in amazement as the gimbal becomes your cameraman. What I also love is that this mode is available in the selfie option, so you don't have to be using the back camera in order to track yourself. You can also use the selfie camera. And again, it is mega accurate. Then onto Dynamic Zoom, and this is a crazy cool mode that allows you to get this really kind of interesting vertigo shot. Decide whether you want to zoom in and out first, and once you've done that, click done. And then what you're going to do is track the subject that you want to zoom in or zoom out from, follow the prompts on the screen, and then bam, you'll have the most interesting and amazing dynamic zoom shot you ever did see. This mode is perfect for any situation, but really comes out great when you have the perfect subject. Then spin shot mode is so next level because usually when you use the joystick, it just toggles the gimbal left to right. But if you head into the camera settings and change the follow mode to spin shot, what happens is when you toggle the joystick, the entire camera rotates just as you see here. And with this mode, as you can imagine, you can get the most insane videos. It doesn't do a full 360 rotation, but it goes pretty far and is bound to turn some heads when you use this mode in your videos. Then if you head on over to the pano section and under the various panos, make sure you click on the super bright colorful one because this is a clone pano and it is so much fun. Once you hit the record button, a countdown timer starts and the gimbal automatically starts taking a pano. Then what you do is make sure you go ahead and pose in each shot and at the end of it, you have the most amazing cloned pano. This is a bunch of fun and you'll actually be amazed at how many people you can fit in a clone pano and when you add in some props, wow. Story modes is another amazing feature you can access when in landscape mode by clicking on this little brightly colored S button. This opens up an entire menu of preset story ideas that help you capture some banging videos in a matter of seconds. So once you've decided on which story you want to do, click the start button and then at the bottom you will see how many segments you are going to film and how long each segment is. So once you click the record button, start filming, run through each segment and then amazingly DJI adds in these transitions, some filters as well as music to make a bomb.com story. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe or you can check out some of my other videos right over here. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!